Hi, it's Reverend John. And our thought for today, I release drama and conflict. Drama, drama, drama. You know, the word drama comes from the Greek meaning action and act or a play. Literary drama is something we all appreciate and enjoy, whether it's through prose, poetry, theater, the movies, Instagram, or even TikTok. The drama that you were invited to release is the drama and the stories that are created around the conflicts in your life. Now, the human experience will have conflict. There are, some, there are just some things in life that are incompatible, like oil and water, as the saying goes. What makes life difficult is the drama, the story that we create around the conflict and our reaction to it. Think of a river running swiftly through an area of rocks. The river picks up speed. It becomes very turbulent and it seems to dash upon the rocks. There are even areas of the river that seem to churn over and over again, dashing upon the rocks. Sometimes life can feel like that. Sometimes it can feel like you're being swept away. Like you're, being, like you're heading into the rocks or you're even being churned up against the rocks at times. But there's another way to flow down the river of life. What if you were in a raft on top of the river with a guide, with an oar, with the skills to know that when the raft feels like it's about to tip over in one direction, you can lean in the other direction. With the knowledge to know how if you're heading towards the rock, you can steer it in the other direction. You can avoid that churning area until you make it through the rapids and get to the more calm and peaceful area of the river. Just like the river, there's another way to live without having the drama consciousness and the reactions to the conflicts in your life. There is a way to live without being the victim of other people's dramas by being balanced and centered in spirit. Now, if you're feeling stressed or anxious around someone, you might be too involved in their story. If you feel you're being churned and dashed upon the rocks of life, maybe you're too wrapped up in the drama of the situation. In times like that, take a moment to breathe, to relax, and to bring about clarity of the present moment. Notice when your mind starts to create the drama and take a breath. Release those thoughts and focus on the divine ideas that inspire you. Take time to, re to rewrite your life stories by releasing the drama and the conflict and by making your story a dazzling one of infinite delight as you shine your light on the world. As you flow down the river of life, let spirit be your raft, be your guide, and be your oar. And let the river be joyful. This is inspired by Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. The fruit of spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, and faithfulness. As you flow through life today, remember the thought, I release any drama or conflict. Love and blessings and have a wonderful day.